Okay, this is uh, Aether Raids again. Um, you can see here, um, we're in tier 24, tier 22, so not even 24 this time. Uh, I had a pretty, um, pretty bad run this week. Um, but again, it's Astro, so it's always, it's usually, it's worse. Um, but yeah, so, let's take a look here. I think uh, I can get six, I, I get three, 320 per uh, win on a double at 640 so with like 600 boosting up here remember I can hit uh, tier 24 maybe not we'll uh, we'll see that in a little while um, let's check uh, rank rank is pretty low um, hopefully I can make it up to here again this is I mean at least I'd like to stay in here which is pretty good uh, top 3,000 is, is, is not too bad. Um, uh, and then lastly, uh, as you can see, my defense is pretty high win rate. Hmm. So here, uh, I wanted to show you something. I finally got Broadleaf Fan. Um, yeah, it took a while. Uh, I was gonna make a separate summoning video, but I was kind of doing that thing that we usually do, right? Where it's like we don't have when you have a very few amount of orbs, you just like summon throughout the week. You know, like every day you do like a five pull. Uh, you get you know you grind out your orbs, do a five pull today, five pull tomorrow, and then slowly just kind of uh, you know scrounge together all the scraps you can get to to do it. And, and I got one just today, so this will be the first time uh, we you know you get to see on camera. Um, me using Broadleaf Fan on Felicia, and uh, it was the first time I ever used it at all. Um, yeah, I like this uh, build. Uh, now with Broadleaf Fan, maybe I can run something like an attack or speed smoke here, but it's not that big a deal because uh, she's got Tamari, and usually this will hit most people. Drops them for um, 5 attack and speed. Um, granted, it's not as much as 7, but I think that's still pretty good because the first target you're going to hit... That's a uh, plus plus ten damage from um, the Broadleaf fan because it got minus five and minus five. And then the second target will have um, those minus five plus the minus seven to both defense and res from the dagger itself. Uh, so yeah, without even mentioning the fact that uh, she's got sudden panic, so like any other bonuses they get is gonna boost the damage um, pretty dramatically, I think. So let's, yeah, I mean, I guess there's nothing to it but to do it, so let's try to check it out. I, I made some more teams this time, so sometimes looking at a map, um, you don't necessarily need a dancer. You can just kind of leave her there to bait and have um, Lucina giving passive um, passive uh, protection and all that stuff. Actually, uh-oh, this is bad. Hold on. Okay, uh, so problematically, I mean, you might have already noticed, like, from the menu we were before. Um, I haven't re re redone the Fate Pass, because I really don't care about uh, the new, was it Robin? I think, yeah, the new unit that they're uh, resplendent, alting. Um, so, obviously Felicia doesn't have the bonuses. Uh, I'm going to keep it on Boki, because I'm going to need her for the, the upcoming season. Um... But yeah, so that kind of sucks. Uh, hopefully, Broadly Fan can just kind of pull it out for us, especially uh, considering. Where am I? Especially just considering the fact that like I'm so low ranked that I'm gonna fight against like lower tier like defenses, and you know, I'll probably do fairly well like you know on camera here this time around just because of how things worked out. Uh, so let's go take a look here. See, I'm fighting against a uh, tier twenty two this late into the season is never a good thing. Mm. Don't have any escape ladders. She is not effective against um, daggers. I think what I want to do is put Felicia here, then hit her, and then Dancer, and then hit her. Yeah, something like that.
you know, they have, you know, they have buffs from this. We've got like four flyers. The only one getting this buff, not that buff, this buff, is going to be Duma. Because he's too far away and the rest of these are flyers. They don't get the tactics buff. Um, okay, so they're getting attack buff from this. Okay. Yeah, so I think with Broadleaf Fan, it shouldn't be too big. This shouldn't be too big a deal. Um, so let's just get in there. Let me see the team. Oh yeah, the other team I had was uh, was this team. Uh, just because there, there are certain there are certain maps where like just having like Altina as your main CC vantage unit, uh, it's pretty beneficial. Like like she can take out certain maps by herself. So it's always good to just like, as long as it doesn't cost you anything extra, having her get down like with her as support dancer and then her as um just providing the bonuses from her uh, from her lance is pretty good but uh, yeah we're gonna go with this one <coughs> uh the only the main problem i have here is gonna be and you don't really want like duma i know he's kind of awkward and kind of like annoying to like have to build with um but you really do want him in this space or this space most of the time because these are the two spaces if you follow down here to this Follow down here to this, where the most important uh, structures are going to be. Uh, so in my case, it's either the healing tower or the uh, bolt tower. So as you, you as the player, your priority is really just going to want to be um, protecting the bolt tower, um, or uh, I mean, like you as the defensive person, you need to really calculate, sit there, and think. I really need to hit the um, the bolt tower, which I usually have. This is why I have Duma here. So my whole team is on these six blocks doom is here hitting the bolt tower so that if it's if it's right here this will probably hit this will hit two rows of my team if it's here and duma misses the bolt tower all it's hitting is two units right so that's kind of what my thought process is there um but yeah having duma just out of the way over here doing nothing uh it's not very useful because i mean you, you might hit this right uh but like and then who cares especially because duma i think the, the special thing about duma is He's just an infinitely better catapult because catapult you have to spend um, stone and all that stuff to like upgrade it. Duma will pop whatever building is in the same row as him, no matter what the level is. So, yeah, that's something you want to keep in mind. Um, this is actually kind of interesting because I can't like I can't leave her. I can't put Felicia here and then attack and then put Tethys here and then dance her and then hit here because he's just gonna kill Tethys. She can't survive um, the damage output he's he's got. Sixty-eight or sixty-six. So basically, Tethys hits everybody except for uh, you, um, Aversa here. HP 5, yeah, that's about as HP tanky as she's gonna get. Um, I guess a question for me is can she take one hit from him? Because he should die on the double, I think. Because right, she, she hits back twice and he should die from that. Um,. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, anyway. Uh, under 45. Ooh, that, that tower actually hits her. Uh... Well, if I'm that concerned about it, I can wait till this bolt tower hits, and then he'll definitely die on the on the, on the the counter. Um, but I don't really want to do that. I think I'm going to go this way. Uh, I'm going to have to put you here. Go this way, clear this out. She's gonna stand here, like I said, and then hit one of these two, and then hit another one. I'm going to need her to, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna need her to stand here to dance, and then for her to stand here, I'm gonna need her to come here and hit uh, Duma. And kill Duma. Uh, she, she usually can kill him, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, 58 for 44, what is he, he has this. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's just take a look at what's going on here. Okay, so we've got hitting everybody. 
got her 44 res, 46 res. I need three more than them. So I miss her by two, by one, I mean. Um, but that's fine. Uh, I don't really need to debuff her. The, these are the people I need to debuff. I don't know why you're missing... Um, defense. I don't know where those debuffs came from. Oh, is it this? Oh, this has a two range. I didn't realize that. Um, that's kind of interesting. Okay. Hit this. I'm just starting to. I'm just gonna start making my way down this way. He doesn't have any debuffs, so he's gonna be a bit of a pain. Okay. Uh oh. The fuck? What does this mean? What? What can hit me? Oh, she's got uh, this. Oh, that's very interesting. I wonder. Yeah, we'll see how that. We'll see how that does. Uh, especially because. Uh, let's see if uh, I can bait her into attacking me. Oh, I can. Okay. Very good. Okay, so this is kind of weird. Kind of destroying my plans here, thwarting my plans. Okay, so she's not debuffed anymore, and she, he's really debuffed. Okay, I kind of figured that's what that was. That means I can do this, basically. Uh, one of the great things about Broadleaf Fan is um, it's, it kind of sucks losing the stats from the um, the bonus or not the bonus the um, blessing or whatever the, the whatever the, the favor thing is I don't know what it's, I forget what it's called but the, the thing about losing those stats it's not that big a deal on Broadleaf Fan user because on a Broadleaf Fan user uh, because Broadleaf Fan is doing all the work. Um, this is just so incredibly oppressive, it's like, it's not even funny. Um, but yeah, so, that's something to remember. Okay, I wanna see if I can, um... So there you go, I have two Dragon Slayers, so either one of these could, should be able to kill her to some degree. Okay, so she, she can't, so let's, uh... I'm gonna put you here. And then hopefully I'm gonna give her the dragon slaying. Ooh, very interesting. 54 damage. Okay, so I'm giving Altina the dragon slaying. It will be done. Uh, let's see if I can hit him now. No. I'll think about it. And he kills. She kills him. So that's weird. No, it's not that weird, but still, it's kind of interesting. Um, let's do that. Do this. What is your desire? You have my trust. Let's overwhelm them. Okay, this is fine. Uh, so I'm basically putting a lot of thought into uh, this for no real reason. It will be done. Uh, does she have? She has vantage. Is the problem? Um. Of course. Good to go. She's missing 7. She's only got 12 HP, so I think uh, Vantage Felicia can just kill her. Uh, the problem is I really want to get that. Uh, he should be able to survive whatever she's going to do. Uh, let's put you here. Consider it done. And let's leave you here. Let's see what happens. Okay. okay. Um, I think she can kill him. She can kill her. Yep. Okay. Okay, that was fine. Um, of course, like I said, there's a lot of like sort of overthinking going on here, considering um. These are very lower level um, uh, 
defenses I'm attacking here, so it's like a lot of strategy for no reason. Um, <clears throat> this looks like next week we're gonna have Air as a bonus unit. I really like when Air's bonus use it because she she's actually really strong. Um, yeah, she, she does a lot of damage. Uh, I'm still sad that I couldn't get a uh, Byleth before it closed, um, but the Broadleaf fan is what the important part was. Uh, so it looks like if I get if I perfect this next one and get the uh, Aether Pots, I can uh, yeah I can go ahead and do another attack. So let's just get in there. Uh, let's see. So there's this guy. Hmm, that's very interesting. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Uh, let's see. Um, this is pretty tricky. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna come this way and then hit him. Yeah, come this way, hit him from this position. She's hit, so one, two, one, two, and one. Okay, so basically everybody's getting the plus six attack, which is good for me. Um, nobody here has hardy bearing except for this guy. So I think this is a good position to be in because uh, basically means I don't get hit by anyone else. Um, the one thing I'm kind of having trouble with is getting both of these pots is going to be um, pretty annoying. Um, But let's see what I can do here. Let's overwhelm them. <laughs> Forty seven attack, that's sad. Um what's actually what's going on here? Let's see. Oh, I think that last guy might have been missing a um a Ford upgrade here because uh, the last time last game she had a plus she had a 51 attack on like 47 res and like just just way higher stats <laughs> like 47 speed well there you go see though again that was a lot of like overthinking for no reason considering uh, what was going on there um let's just do this here okay so everybody's debuffed hit everybody with the minus five there uh, on his turn, this attack, tic, this attack, the attack tactic will uh, will trigger, and um, what is your desire? that'll be a real problem. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, Okay, so now there's some serious trouble here because okay. um, his weapon makes this more annoying because I can't follow up attack on him. Uh, 47. Yeah, so yeah. I can't do a follow up attack on him. Of course. Do I have any debuffs? No, I do not. You have my trust. Hmm. This is a bit of a bit of a doozy here. Lead away. And then because of this, it dropped me 
below his HP. Uh, and then this catapult destroyed my uh, healing tower. So this is a pretty good position because if there's something here, he pops it. Uh, he didn't stop this though, so this is what I'm kind of banking on right now. Okay. Um, this will happen at turn three. We're on turn two right now. So next turn, they're going to be hit by that. So what I want to do now... Ready. Let's see if I hit this. Yeah, I think next turn what I'm going to do is... Just hit, I want to get rid of this here for now. Next turn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this. Dancer. And then hit him. Let's see if I push her here. One, two, three here. He can hit here and here. So I need to find some way to hit her here, to put this here. If I dance her here, yeah, there really isn't any way to deal with that. I'm just gonna have to take that. Um, and this isn't doing very much either. So let's just wait till next turn to start making a move. Okay, so I get to kill him off a of one shot here. Yeah, my see, look at that. It's eleven point reduction because of the um, tactics buff. Um, he's not getting it. Uh, he's getting the buff, but he's not getting the uh, the other part of it. Okay, so I think what I want to do here is put her here, pop this. <laughs> He's gonna double me because of how this works. Ready. Roll. So I'm gonna put her, pop this. Um, I need to move her forward here to this position. Have him stand here, swap with her, and then have her uh, move up here to dance her so she can come up here and hit him. Uh, I want her here because she's got this, uh, this. But I, I don't think, yeah, maybe that's not that really worth having there, especially because I'm pretty sure if I have her here, that like, leaves open leaves her open to get hit by like some one of something from here. I don't know if that's worth. Um, I really want to hit this uh, this though. So I think I'm gonna hit this. Yes. Ready. I'll think about it. Okay, I can kill him. I can kill him. So I guess that the thing is, I'm going to hit him, he's going to die. He is going to move forward here or here and then hit her, um, which shouldn't kill her, and then I should follow up and kill him. Because I do have dragon effectiveness, and hopefully she can survive whatever what's coming her way from everyone else. The only problem I have is this this hardy bearing unit here might uh, might just kill me. So we'll uh, we'll see how this goes. Um. With utter certainty, you have my trust. So let's see what happens. Okay, so this is bad. 
Okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. So now I have vantage. Okay, this is good, this is actually perfect. Perfect. Couldn't have, uh, couldn't have gone any better. Oh, except for that. Uh, he doesn't have, yeah, he doesn't have debuffs anymore, so my, uh, thing doesn't work anymore. Of course, that would happen. Uh, let's do this. Uh, so let's hit this here. Good to go. Let's overwhelm them. I really do kind of need to get this here. Leave it to me. Consider it done. Yeah, so she's coming this way for some weird reason. Okay, there we go. Uh, so one, we get to do one more after this. Okay, let's get in there. Tier 23. I think, what do I need? So I'm in tier 24, so yeah, that's, you know. I'm going to be, whether I win or lose this one, tier 24, but it's always good to get the practice in. Okay, so this person was deathly afraid of, uh, of, what's it called? Of Aversa, or just generally, um, just panic in general, any kind of panic. Except for panic smoke, of course, though. So. Hmm. The question I'm asking myself here, so because this dancer's here, it makes what I was thinking about a lot more risky. Hmm. This is kind of interesting. She is hardy bearing us as she should. He's got March, whatever. I think what I want to do is... Not even just Panics, uh, like Yoon's Whisper and uh, Tamari Dagger as well. This is pretty interesting because it, it makes it harder like, to kill her with Broadleaf Fan because I can't get any debuffs on her beforehand. Uh, let's see... And my um, bolt tower is in the wrong way. I could just wait till like turn three. I could just wait till turn three and then uh, hit her with that, but nope. Okay, these guys are getting attack and speed. Calm. Uh, with wind sweep or with pass. Very interesting. Gale force. Ugh. Had to be gale force. I don't think there's anything I hate in this world more than uh, Gale Force on defense. It's just irritating. I'm not like the worst to deal with, but I mean, why would I want to deal with that? Let's see, so having the Dancer is going to be a little more important, I think, still. Uh, so the Dancer, in this case, being, um, of course, uh, Tethys, uh, she serves, she's here for the Sudden Panic, or not the Sudden Panic, is it? Yeah. I forgot what the skill is called. I think it's Sudden Panic. Yeah, it's not Panic Smoke, Sudden Panic. So she's here for the Sudden Panic. And she's here for the Tamari. And she's here for the Dance. And the, the Infantry Pulse is just kind of um, extraneous. It's just there just because. Um, so basically, Tamari, Sudden Panic, and um, Dance. Uh, unfortunately, given the way their layout is structured here, uh, I'm not making, I won't be able to make any use of like three out of the two things, uh, two out of the three things she provides. Uh, meaning the dance is like, the dance is important, but like, is it worth losing every other bit of utility she has? Um, yeah, this is pretty irritating.
I think my best chances are to go around this side maybe. And maybe go around here. Uh, kill Thrasir and then he's gonna come in. Hopefully he doesn't kill uh, Felicia but there's a good chance he will. Um, yeah, there's a pretty good chance he will. This would be a lot easier with um, this is this is one of those ones that's easier with Cronia uh, because well, if the Seer puts me in vantage range, it might I might be able to to pull this out. But the problem is that like um, he's got sturdy impact. So my now before this wouldn't be as bad if I had uh, Felicia's plate on her. He's got such low res, but the fact that I have Broadleaf means that the sturdy impact here. <laughs> Um, is infinitely more valuable to him. Now, normally it'd be worthless because I would just double him uh, using this stat. <sighs> yeah, that's a very interesting one. So I guess my I guess one of the the what I can do is move her here is clear this stuff out of the way, put Felicia here, hit her, hopefully kill her on a double. Um, one, two, out of range, and then she'll dance him, one, two, here. So I'll need to find something to do to get these people out of the way, because standing here, I'm going to get hit by him because she can dance him, and I'm going to get hit by him as well. Uh, maybe not her, but probably her anyway. Um, in this case, like a hit and run strategy would be pretty good, because they kind of like spread out everywhere like idiots what about what if I have someone clearing this here so I think what I'm gonna do is, is come here hit him dance her have her stand here and then hit her or maybe the other way around yeah I should probably clear this hit her have someone dance her to come over here hit her um, I'm gonna get hit by the seer so I'm probably gonna die uh, even with whatever res I have, there's I, I can never survive through Sears for some reason. So, yeah. Um, this will be hitting these. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, turn The first thing I'm going to do is probably try to kill her. And move this way and kill him. Um, yeah. Let's try that. Didn't expect that did you? Brynja might be pretty good here. But yeah, this is, we're doing what we have. Uh, so she's gonna be over here first. Let's overwhelm them. Okay, so yeah, I think I should be able to kill her because I have more speed and she'll survive. Yeah, so do that. Have not let's not break this. Have um, Tetha's dance here, and then move her here. Uh, the thing is, I'm going to need. So he can stand one, two, three. He can stand here. So he can go one, two, three, all the way here. So I need someone to be able to pop this, and get them out of the way somehow. Or I guess uh, waiting until, yeah, that might be it. So I'm gonna come bring her here, hit this, or or have him here hit this, and then her forward. Like leave her here, so that when I do pull this off and then I dance her, I can pop this and then move her here and then kill him. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna do something like that. Consider it done. Lead away, of course. You have my trust. It will be done. Good to go. What is your desire? Will 
So they're getting panicked, but they don't have any buffs. He has buffs for some reason. He's getting hit by everything. Wow. Well, I guess he's doing a pretty good jo job uh, soaking stuff. Uh, she is getting debuffed from this. Uh, let's see here. Uh, she's getting... She's not getting anything. She's not getting debuffed anymore for some reason. I think it might be because they have... Let's see. Yeah, so she got the speed buff and then... Um, she's getting her speed reduced by 7, and she still ends up higher than her. So 38 for... Yeah, I don't know if that makes any sense. That just seems weird. So this is going to be a lot harder to kill her um, than I would have wanted. And then, of course, this is here. With utter certainty. And, oh, shit. Consider it done. This is a really weird position to be in here. Ugh. Yeah, so this one's not looking so good. Two turns. This is going to go off and I'm going I'm to miss it. Okay. Uh, which that kind of sucks, but whatever. Whoa. Put you here. Uh, we'll just start, I guess we'll start chipping away at this here. Oh, that might be, okay, no, it's just that, I guess. Uh, well, we want, I want to leave you here. Oh, okay. I was kind of worried about that, but like apparently they don't have a healing tower, so this is this damage is permanent. So okay, I was kind of worried about nothing, and something can hit me now. Oh, right, that's right. Well, let's just put you here. Said. Okay, what do I gotta do? I need to get. For one, I need to get you out of here, because you're getting on my nerves, just standing in the wrong position here. Consider it done. This is getting pretty irritating. Um... I need her... It, yeah, this isn't going to work because I need a whole turn. Okay. I need a whole turn where... Okay, so let's see. Yeah, this isn't going to work because she needs to stand here. And then it needs to be my turn. And then I need to attack here. Oh, this is bad. Um, yeah, I guess I wasn't thinking about the uh, the range and everything properly here. Ready. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so this isn't going to work, which that's pretty irritating. 43 speed to 39, yeah, so I, I really do need that um, speed boost from that. As well as, well, I mean, for one, I needed the speed boost as well as I needed the uh, the the debuffs from the Tamari dagger, but this is where we are now. Um, yeah, there's, there's nothing I can do here. Okay. Ugh, that's pretty irritating. Um, oh, oh, let's go this way. So I guess the plan now is to try 
have her stand here. Right. Hit him. Get danced and move here and hit her. Because uh, she'll drop um, 14, uh, 7 and 7 for res and defense. So hopefully she'll be easier to kill then. Uh, the problem is I might run out of turns before I get that off. At that point, it's just luck based to see. So I'll kill him and, and maybe her and then she'll uh, try to attack me. Yeah, and then he'll just stand here and die. Or not die, but like just you know be kind of an idiot. Let's see, one, two, three. So you can hit this spot here. It will be done. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, cause I'm already getting t kind of tired of, of dealing with this. Let's overwhelm them. Um, the problem is, is uh, he's gonna hit her once and then probably die. Um, actually, let's just do this. One, two, three, and then you can hear. Uh, he's got more defense, so hopefully that'll uh, do something for us. Uh, actually, he's probably just gonna die. Uh, oh, he killed him. Okay, cool. Uh, so the dancing went about as poorly as it could have gone for them. Uh, let's see. Leave it to me. Let's just kill you. Oh, this is bad. Um, so I think problematically, no matter what, uh, she's gonna kill me. Uh, let's, yeah, I can't move this fucking guy out of the way. Um, uh, if I stand here, here, I can come over here and dance her, and then move her here and then hit her. Problem is, I'm gonna hit by him. I move if I move her here I can stand here and dance her and then she's just gonna move here and do nothing uh, so this is a good position for this one to be in Ugh. Uh, what to do what to do what to do uh, I like this move but she's just gonna kill me like I said uh, which is pretty irritating I've got two turns left so there isn't much else to do but this. 46, oh my gosh, 46 plus minus 6 debuff there. Uh, he's debuffed to hell. So I hit him for 36 damage by 2. I've been playing this whole thing without the animations on too, which is pretty annoying. It's getting on my nerves. Um, I might survive getting attacked by uh, him, but I probably won't. So let's take a look at what happens here. Yeah, so, because he can double, that ended up happening. With utter certainty. I'll think about it. Uh, so let's just dance there, see if she can kill him. You have my trust. Uh, yeah. So that was poor uh, play, playing on my part. Um, I, I should have gone down the middle, hitting... Um, to barn and then um, dance to the side and hit Ophelia um, but I, I went around the wrong way uh, but yeah so that's how that went uh, let's go see we were let's see we're in rank 12 so yeah we're kind of low rank here I uh, didn't even make it to get my chair so that's that's all right um, hopefully going forward uh, this turns out a lot better um, now that I, I basically my Felicia's done uh, basically everything's done. There's really no reason for me to pull on any banner like ever anymore. Um, what do I need? Yeah, the only thing I need, the only thing I have left, uh, let's go look at here. The only thing that's left for me is free unit. Like all these, like, okay, maybe mer merges on him or I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna complain on merges for him, her, uh, her, right? You're not gonna complain about merges for these, but I'm not gonna like, 
it's gonna be a very long time before I get them, so uh, not that big a deal. Um, but in terms of things that like I can control and I can like push towards and, and try for every week or every so often or whatever, there's really nothing else to summon for. Like she's a plus ten already. I'm gonna have a video about her coming out soon, maybe today or tomorrow. Um, probably tomorrow because I don't have anything on Tuesdays to do. Um, but her, uh, she's at a plus three right now. Um, I need to. It's just grails and feathers. Uh, I don't have enough feathers to boost her anymore. I have more grails, so I can probably get her up to like a plus five. Uh, but I don't have uh, feathers, so you know, in time she'll she'll get up there. But yeah, my team is basically done. Uh, this team as well. But like I said, you know, never gonna complain about more Sothis merges or like getting more uh, Leanne merges or something like that. Um, but there's nothing I can actually like work towards anymore. Um, which is good. Uh, my the only thing I have left for AR offense is to get my Cronia build uh, up and running. Um, but yeah, that's gonna take uh, distant counter and a special spiral. So that'll be, that'll be a while again for that one. Uh, but other than that, uh, everything everything's fine. So that's pretty cool. The only thing I might I mean I might summon like from now on from now going forward i don't really need to summon on on banners hardcore anymore other than getting merges for my uh, aether units like for reduced lift loss as well as uh, increased lift gain on wins uh, but from now on i think i'm just gonna stick to like maybe just summoning on these uh spark banners or whatever the ones that have the limit the uh, pity whatever uh specifically because well for this one uh i think i'm just gonna try summoning for this guy just because of the close foil and the uh attack speed Low attack speed are, are excessively powerful. Like a unit with this is is uh, it's gonna do some damage. Um, is really what it comes down to. So yeah, we'll see how uh, how that goes. Yeah, you know what? Going thinking back, it really was that because actually that was kind of dumb on my part because I had I forgot I had pulse smoke, which would have reduced uh, Ophelia's. Uh, special cooldown uh, and then made it not such a big deal anymore but there you go hindsight is 2020 that's what you get for being an idiot uh, pulling premium skills and then forgetting you have them um, but yeah so like I said these two skills because this, this is one skill and this is uh, three so you can inherit both of these at the same time this dagger uh, has uh, what's it called hardy bearing on it but it's not really that big a deal uh, but yeah so close foil and attack little attack speed is, is excessively good uh, this guy it's got Spurn 3, it's decent, but it's not something I, I care too much about. I don't have any units that are like that hor that hardcore building speed. They just have speed, like they have enough speed. They're not like, they're building so much speed where Spurn is going to make a humongous difference. Um, but this right here makes me, I like I like this one more because you get the Spurn and the uh, Fury 4, right? If I get her, that'd be cool. If not, I mean, who cares, right? But yeah, so going forward, I don't think I'm going to be pulling on too many more banners. Um, there's really nothing I need. If uh, New Year's Alphonse comes back again sometime soon, I might pull on that again, but I uh, really don't feel like getting jobbed. Uh, but yeah, this is a, it's a really good place to be in, I think, uh, where I am now, uh, not having to worry about like orbs. Now every orb that comes in is basically just profit uh, because there's nothing I have, to, I have to pull on, so I don't have to stress out about shit anymore. I can just pull on whatever I want going forward, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I'll have a video talking about uh, Camilla uh, going going forward and, and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it for today. Uh, ended pretty poorly. Um, so yeah, pretty shit performance this season. Next season will probably be a lot better. Um, I think I'll make it to tier 27, honestly, just because off the back of air. Like air, obviously air is not that strong, but like just having her be a huge damage dealer in her her bonus season is uh it's pretty good like you know but yeah so yeah i guess uh until next time till tomorrow or the day after i've been thinking about uh starting another putting another series because there's nothing for me to post from saturday to like monday so i might do some sort of like um uh defense recap here so you can see decent successes but again these, these like yeah, some sort of midweek, like on Friday maybe, or not Friday, probably Saturday. So, because it's Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and the four days before. So, probably on Saturday, I have some sort of like midweek, or you know, quote, midweek uh, uh, defense assessment. But uh, I think I might do that once I do get that other team locked in and, and set up. 
uh, my defense now isn't really that interesting. Um, it kind of annoys me the way it's set up. Like, I just don't really like this. Um, but yeah, so, like I said, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll see. But yeah, if anyone, for those of you who are looking forward to anything, um, that'll be something. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it then.